You know, <laughs> I, I just have to ask this. You know, last year, the head of Caterpillar complained publicly about the anti-jobs, anti-business tone of Illinois. I mean, isn't it a fact when you look at job creation, the states that have raised the minimum wage actually have the worst unemployment rate. And the fact is that, that uh, Illinois has lost people. I think it has lost 40,000 people in the last year, the largest uh, outpouring of people from any state in the country. Okay. I mean, uh, so I understand why it's nice let's, to get let's people talk about something, job but creation. it does kill jobs. Job creation in Illinois, we're number one in the Midwest since last May. We've created over 280,000 jobs. Now, the head of Caterpillar made some bad investment decisions that hurt Caterpillar and hurt all of us in Illinois, and uh, he should be accountable for that. We believe in Caterpillar. We believe in John Deere. That's located in our state, John Deere Tractors. We believe in ADM and many other companies. We have Ford, Chrysler, Mitsubishi, all of them growing. Uh, when I became governor, Chrysler had 200 jobs. Now they have 4,700 jobs in Belvedere, Illinois. Sh Ford good. has three shifts. When I became governor, they had one shift. So we're very grateful to our president, President Barack Obama, for saving the American auto industry. We worked with him. We believe in organizing, and the UAW is organized at Mitsubishi, Ford, and Chrysler. And I think it's a good way to get good wages and so, fair good so, condi working conditions for everyday people. And I still haven't heard from Rick about the minimum wage. How about I, it? Don't I don't think I don't think that? I don't think it's the government's business to be setting the minimum wage out there. And even the CBO said, if you want to get rid of a half a, uh, a million jobs between now and 2016, raise the minimum wage. And here's the issue, Pat, and I think you, you've got to believe this. At a time when jobs are at a premium in this country, the last thing you want to be doing is putting policies into place that will kill jobs. And not only, did not only, oh, we're purchasing no, power sir, in the hands either. of consumers. It, and, They're going to spend the and money. And to tell the people that don't have the, the that has a, a, a job today, I'm sorry, but to help these folks over here, you're not going to have a job. No, the Federal that Reserve is the Bank wrong of Chicago message. said every dollar you raise in the minimum wage creates two thousand eight hundred dollars in purchasing power. And seventy percent of our economy are consumers buying things. We know. Let's put that more money forcing, in the pocket. We know that forcing small businessmen and women to raise the minimum wage. They're going to have to make the decision between whether they're going to hire people or they're going to raise absolutely. the minimum wage. Government, and government. What all the studies have shown the not, opposite. No, 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 that's not correct. You're absolutely yeah, wrong government, about that. You, know, right? well, you, you, you are the one who was quoting the CBO report, which said zero to a million. So the same report you're citing actually makes this point, zero jobs lost or a million. They're kind of guessing there. But I want to ask you a question. You're sitting here defending these, these minimum wage jobs, and we know for a fact that you have a lot of big corporations that are paying people, full-time workers, so little that they have to put their hands out for food stamps and for Medicaid. Do you think that big corporations should be able to pay people so little in America that they have to, that the government has to subsidize their workers? Are 90, you for that? 95% of all the jobs that were created in Texas during that decade are not minimum wage jobs. 95% of them are jobs that are paying above the minimum wage. When you have an environment where you have the tax structure that doesn't strangle small businessmen and women. You have a regulatory climate that is fair and predictable. You have a legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, and you, uh, you put money into an accountable public school and then get out of the way. Jobs will be created, and good jobs. I'm talking good paying jobs the in majority, Texas, and it'll work in Illinois even. The, the majority